And that makes me a sweet, sweet honey bear. Oh, hi. Hey, I'm bored of just sitting here on this bench just enjoying the beautiful view. I know what I'll do. I'll build a beautiful animal carrier so me and all the animals can go out and have some fun together. Let's do it. Today, we're gonna show you how to build this super awesome animal storage crate for your pickup. And these are great for uh, little trucks like my Chevy S10. Uh, it does not have the little holes on the side. So you do not need those on your truck to build this. And uh, this will hold uh, hopefully a miniature donkey, maybe a few small goats, a pig, whatever we decide to throw in here. So come on and I'll show you how we'll make this. Just in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a mask out here. No, I'm not worried about getting COVID from these beautiful little fellas. What I am worried about is the fact that the whole Northwest is on fire right now. And this is not fog. This is smoke from the fire. So I'll be wearing a mask while I work outside today. And hopefully I'll breathe in a little bit less ash that way. All right, let's get started on this project. Okay, so the first thing I did is I cut these, I got some treated lumber here and I cut these to uh, four foot long strips. And these are gonna go in the four corners. And then for the back corner, I notched this one out. We got uh, a little thing where the gas tank is. There's this little metal thing, so I had to notch that one out at an angle so it would fit on there nicely. All right, so you want to going to get you're going to want to get your four posts ready and I did four feet which is uh, plenty tall for the little goats that I'll be hauling and occasionally a donkey. Uh, they cannot get over four feet. If you have bigger goats, then adjust your height accordingly. All right, so that's the first thing. Your four four foot posts here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I got all my four footers up is I got a six foot long post that's gonna run along each side of the truck. And then we're gonna uh, bolt these guys in. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this into the beam that's in the truck. All right, so let's get on that. Just as I was getting started, I realized I forgot a couple of the main bolts that we need. Had to run to Lowe's, so we're gonna keep filming here. This is a nighttime apocalypse edition. The world is burning. Anyway, the next thing we were gonna do is make our holes. So I'm just gonna kinda line these up where they need to go. Gonna hold on tight and then make my hole for the for the bolts. We got our holes drilled in the first one. Put the first set of bolts in. It's a little tight, so I'm gonna get a hammer to tap those in. Next, you want to just put a little washer and a nut on the back. You don't want to go fully tight all the way until the whole structure is up. Then we'll come back and. Uh, we'll tighten it down at the end. Okay, we got that first step done. So now you can see we got one bolt into each end. Those are six foot length beams going into the four foot tall beams. So that's what it looks like so far. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I drop this two by four in the pocket down there, but down between this and this one. And then I'm gonna make a mark cause I'm gonna cut it so it fits inside here. So I got this cut. So as you can see, it fits down just nice and tight inside the, inside the boards there. 
and this is going to be the first part of your back panel. Uh, the reason we're assembling this in sections is so it can be easily removed and put back in the truck fairly quickly. So you've got your 2x4 now cut in there. And uh, we're going to cut another one of the same length for the top and then we're going to cut the sides. So let's do that. Okay, so I have the basic, the basic frame here. Uh, this is going to be the slide in piece. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pre-drill the holes for the screws that are going to hold it together. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drill a screw in from each side of this going into that board. So you want to kind of have it more or less where you want it. And then just start it, start it straight and then turn it to an angle. All right, once I got that done, I'm going to go ahead and start my screws just go ahead and stick them in the hole so then when you're ready you can just bam 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 knock them all out just to make it a little extra strong I'm going to put on some of this type on 3 ultimate wood glue and then we'll screw it on in I like to set these up on end when I'm doing this. Now we're going to test this, make sure it fits in here before we put the mesh on it. There we go. Okay, we got a nice fit. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is put on these brackets. That's what's gonna hold this back screen in place. So you wanna snug it up tight, but then back it off just a little. Cause you want a little, just a tiny wiggle room. So when you drop it in, it fits in pretty nice. And I'm gonna use some nice big bolts for this. But first, I'm just going to put it in with a couple little screws just to hold it on, hold it in place for the moment. There we go. Actually, probably just that one screw that actually holds it pretty good until once I have the whole thing done, then we'll come back and put the bolts in. All right, we're going to just put two on the other side now. Okay, so a problem we ran into, <laughs> as you see, is that this can pull away. I hadn't really thought about how to hold this in. So what I'm going to do on this side, since I had, I just had a few extra scrap brackets. These are not heavy duty like these ones, but this should do the job to hold that in. So on this one, I'm going to actually attach this. So this one is going to be attached to this board. This one is going to be... A okay, that's our little donkey mini. She wanted to say hi to everyone. So this one we're going to attach here. So now you can see it's going to hold the sidewall back. So I'm going to put this in with a few screws here now what we're going to do is attach this little bracket to this end piece I'm going to use a little bit bigger screws and I'll show you in a second you'll see 
how this works to bind it all together. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make uh, another sliding door to slide in here. This one, our, our pickup has these little metal brackets that come out. So we're going to make it so it rests on there. So we're, one end is going to go in there. And then we just need to mark where to cut this one. Now, I'm not sure if I would recommend this, but I'm just using what I have on hand. So I've got these uh, roofing screws. They've got the little rubber washer around them. I think they'll work great for holding this in. You see, I already put a couple in. So that's what I mean. If you had some sort of staple, that would probably be the best. I think these work okay. But you can see the washer kind of really grabs the metal. And then uh, I would recommend, especially on the end pieces, put some on the inside, some on the outside, so the thing doesn't move around. We've got our bolts in now, so these two are bolted together. I got the bolts in the, the brackets, so I got the bolts in the brackets. Those two screws were just kind of to hold it in the meantime. So this is super sturdy now. Got bolts up top in the top bracket, and uh, so the we've got our two our front our front and back gates are assembled. So I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work. So this is the. Uh, front gate here so this one's got a little L bracket there sticking out and then on this side we used this and you'll see how those go so it should go down in this slot it slides in nicely and then that bracket goes around the 2x4 and if you come over here I'll show you this bracket goes over this permanent bracket here. That's so that the sidewall will stop. So this whole sidewall will be held by one here and one on the back. So I'll go ahead and put in the, the back one. Do you want me to hand it to you? Yeah. So you really got to hand it to me. <laughs> okay. So here's our back wall. Same type of way, just top of it there. And then those just rest on the little metal ledge here of the truck. So now the whole structure is pretty sturdy. And those keep it from sliding out. And those brackets keep this from sliding back. All right, so front and back's done, the main structure's in. Now we're just going to finish the side walls here. So let's get to that. This is the uh, passenger side piece. Just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's all finished. If you come in here close, I'll show you what we did. So this mesh gate, we sandwiched that in between these two two by fours, and we did a bolt through the wood. This bolt is just to hold the L bracket on. It just goes through one of the boards. And uh, so we did two of those. And then uh, we chose to put this two by four on the outside so it can rest on the side of the truck. And then this one's on the inside. We just, it seemed uh, like a more stable option. Plus I had already put these L brackets so they would be in the way. So if you are planning it ahead of time, you can, you can always put this on the outside as well. Might look a little more uniform. So that's the passenger side. One, one for the driver's side, it's basically the same. I had to cut an angle on the bottom of that one because uh, that's where the gas tank is and there's a little metal hump in the truck. But other than that, it's basically the same exact thing. So you just repeat what you did over there. And then, um, 
front and the back. So here's the, the one that goes closest to the cab. So you can see what we've done here. Same thing, we just use these little uh, roofing screws, that's for corrugated roofing. And then we use these little L brackets, a little something we improvised there. And that's gonna kind of lock everything together. And on this one, uh, we, we made this one curve this way and you, you'll see how it, it locks in when we're done. You could do, also do the same as you did there. You could do an L bracket like that. But uh, part of the reason I did this is because I used some L brackets that I already had on hand. And uh, as you can see, this one has wide holes. So it wasn't going to work because it would have been at the edge of the 2x4. So it wouldn't have given it any strength, which is why I did that. Um, if I had planned this a little better ahead, I would have gotten uh, more of these type of brackets and just had them all on the top. But anyway, uh, that's how we did it. And then this is the last piece. This is the piece that goes at the back of the truck. Did the same thing, these little L brackets to hold it down. And on this one, we used the, the same type on each side. So this is basically just a, a repeat of that piece. Okay, so this is the rear part of the gate. And uh, one last thing I added was uh, I put a little chain here. And what that's for with a little carabiner and that's so you can clamp it down here where this is the other chain that's connected to the truck so you can just snap this on there and uh, that keeps this down otherwise my little piggy likes to push up on stuff so this way when he goes to push up it catches the chain and it won't let him push the the rear door up so he can get out because he's a little escape artist our little Kevin Bacon so the reason we made this all separate pieces is so that we can store them like this all flat so it's not taking up a bunch of room around our property that's why we don't make it one big cage that you have to set in also I wanted to make it so it's light enough lightweight enough so that one person can quickly put it in and it's designed so it should be able to be put in relatively quickly. So let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and install this and you can see how fast it goes. All right, here we go. Let's start with the, this is the passenger side. Oh, and then I want to show you, I, I did these little chain links here. This is just a little extra thing to hold it in. So we put that in, get this, pull that around, and we're going to attach it here. That just gives a little extra stability. And then this just sits right back there like that. Let me grab the one for the other side. Same basic thing. And we've got them so they rest on the side of the truck. Oh, before you put that in, I'm gonna pull out the chain. I forgot. And this is just repeating what we did on the other side. Just latch that in. All right, good to go. Now we got the piece that goes on the front. you want to do is load up your animal. Higgins! Higgins! Come here! Higgins is not going to be riding back here, but we're going to use him as a little test subject. Hop in! Stay! Stay! Good boy, stay! And let's get this going the right direction here. locks in and then the last thing you do is just close up the tailgate and you have a little imprisoned animal ready to be saved from the wildfires <laughs> okay and then one uh, final little security measure I came up with to just make sure the whole thing is pulled down nice and tight in case the animals put a lot of weight on the walls I don't want the whole thing coming out I do have the two latches inside but just a little extra measure of security 
go. And what I'm going to do is hook this under the wheel well here. Make sure it's in the metal. All right. And that's just an extra level. Now you can see it's super secure. I can shake the whole truck. All right, and that's uh, your little final level of security. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Uh, it hasn't been battle tested yet, so hopefully it'll hold together with some animals in the back. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.